Okay, so this is a little bit of a random one, but I thought I would just show you how one of the tools that I'm using to look up labor statistics. So I'm working on a project and I need to have um, like wages, wages per hour for these different types of jobs. Um, specifically, I'm looking for jobs related to wastewater treatment, but this can be for like any kind of wage data that you're looking for. And so what you want to do is you want to Google like Bureau of Labor Statistics and go to their website. And let's see, you can go to their data tools and I'll be honest, like this, I think if you know what you're doing, if you're somebody that looks at labor data a lot, like maybe this isn't so bad, but the first time I tried to use this, it was super confusing for me. But I, one thing to help would be if you're looking for kind of like employment numbers and uh, wage numbers, what you're looking for, what I use is um, this QCW, like especially for wages because I do economics, so I'm looking for wages and the QCW. I will say for agriculture in particular, the employment numbers that you find on this website are not going to be super accurate because um, the farm level employment doesn't, like ag employment is kind of weird because most people who work on farms also have other jobs. So for several reasons, like a lot of farm employment doesn't get captured in, um, in these data. So I'll just say that, but I think most other industries like manufacturing and things like that, I think the employment numbers are, um, more or less accurate, but at least for farm numbers. It hasn't been, but I'm not looking for farm numbers right now. I'm looking for wastewater treatment. So, um, but yeah, what I want to look for is wages. And so you want to use this QCEW. And honestly, I don't know. There may be a better way to do this, but this is just how I found to do it. So I'm going to show you. So you've got an industry. You want to know what the wages are. I click on this tables button and it brings me to this data viewer page. And I mean, it can look pretty confusing, but basically just think about what you want to look at. So if you want, if you're looking at just one industry and you know what that industry is, um, this one will basically give you the average of all states, I think. Um, actually, this may have been a good way for me to look this up. But no, actually, I'm looking specifically for um, Arkansas. And I just want to kind of show you what I came across because I played around with it a little bit to get the numbers that I want. So if you're not familiar with NAICS, it's the North American, I think, industry classification system or scheme. And basically, like every sort of business or industry has this code. And I, I think they probably use it for like tax reporting or things like that. But um, yeah, every industry is broken down into a code. And then these codes are like aggregated. So here's the high level, I'll just say you. So here's the high level. So what I want to look for, I want to look for the, I want to try to get the value as close as I can to my specific county in Arkansas. Um, and so you can go to high level industries. And so this isn't going to break down the industries very very much. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this, um, but you can adjust what year you're looking for. They have a few years back. Um, you can look at the quarter. You can look at annual averages. Um, I might do the 2020 annual averages and see what they got. Um, but yeah, so then you can type in your county and hit find and it will find what you're looking for. If you typed in Arkansas, it would bring you up to the state level data. Um, but I want to see how specific I can get in my state. So hit get table. And so here it's very aggregated. So here's the total for all industries, the average annual weekly wage, um, annual wages you know, things like that. And then it's service industries, goods production, like manufacturing, natural resources, mining, construction. Wait, I don't know what this is actually, but, oh, it's aggregated. Okay, so if you're a service industry, it's aggregated goods industry, then you've got the four digit code. So it breaks down that 
into um, natural resources, construction, manufacturing, trade. So these are, if it's got the longer number, that means it's these numbers more broken down, if that makes sense. Um, so all of these 101 industries, those all kind of go under goods producing. So if you're producing natural resources, if you're constructing, manufacturing, and then 102 is service, more service industries, so trade, transportation, things like that. I think that's right. <laughs> I'm more used to the more broken down, like the six digit NAICS, so I don't really know how to, how to explain this, but so this is all aggregated, but if you need, like one value I may use is construction, because I am looking for like um, the cost to construct a wastewater treatment plant. Um, so then I could go look at this value and this would be the average annual weekly wage for someone in construction in Sebastian County, Arkansas. Um, this is how many construction businesses are in Sebastian County. Um, this is the employment across all of these establishments, I'm pretty sure. Total of wages across all of the establishments. And then here's the per employee, the weekly wage, and the annual wage per employee. So, but I want to try to get a little bit more specific and look for, um, like what a wastewater treatment operator may get paid. So I want to get a little bit more specific. So here, this was the high level aggregation. And so this is going to break it down a little bit more into the NAICS sectors and I'll just leave it at the third quarter. Sebastian County. And see here, it breaks it down just a little bit more. So you have NAICS 11 is agriculture. Next 21 is mining, 22 is utilities, 23 is construction. Yeah, this is just kind of the very aggregate breakdown of the different industries. And each of these groups can get broken down even more into the different jobs that go into there. And I will just say one thing I ran into was if you're looking at the county level, some of them are broken down and some of them aren't. So when I tried to get to the more specific that I wanted, um, which would be like the all industry levels, um, they didn't have them all listed for my county. So if you want to know specifically, so see here, you've got 22, NAICS 22 utilities, but then 221 it's basically the same but then this is specifically natural gas utilities and then that 2212 which is natural gas distribution um, that's not really a good example actually because it's all kind of all falling under the same um, yeah because if you're looking just at the county level it doesn't it doesn't have it broken down as well as it could be so I'm not going to be able, I realize that I'm not going to be able to find this at the county level. So I, I'm going to have to use the state level values. So I'm here at the same thing, all industry levels, one area, and then I just go up here to Arkansas statewide, get the table. And so here it's broken down like a whole lot more. So here that makes 11, um, it's broken down. So it's got... 1-1 one, one is the full agriculture, forestry, fishing, and hunting, but then if you go one more level out, you go 1-1-1, one, one, one. all of crop production is under this, but then if you want specifically to look at a specific crop, you go 1-1-1-1, one, 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 and that's specifically oil seed and grain farming, but then if you want specifically soybean farming, you can go out from there, but like soybean farming would be included in this value would be included in this value, would be included in this value. So that's why, like, I think all of these should sum up to this value, but you've got to make sure you don't double count, if that makes sense. So like, you've got soybean farming, this one, 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 but then if you want corn, corn farming, they're five digit, the number at the end is five instead of one. I don't know if this is making sense, but yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but what I'm looking for, so 
one thing that makes it, I mean, this, there's a whole like book that breaks down like all of the industries and even as broken down as it is when you get down to the six digits, um, even within some of those, there's like a lot of different occupations included in that. So one thing you can do is look at NAICS code and then type in like whatever you're looking for. So I'm looking for wastewater treatment. And so the wastewater treatment code is this 221320 and it's six digits so it's the most broken out it's going to get. And so you go back, ooh, wait, this one, what did I say? 221320. So we're still in the ones, that's all agriculture. Oops, went too far. So here's 2-2, two, two. so NAICS 2-2 two, two covers all utilities. And then 2-2-1-1 two, two, one, one is power. And then it can be broken down into electric power, fossil fuel, solar, you know, gets broken down even further, but... <laughs> Okay, so this one was what I'm looking for, sewage treatment facilities. So I'm going to assume that this means that um, this would be the pay for someone working at a sewage treatment facility. Obviously, there's lots of different types of jobs as a sewage treatment facility, um, but I'm just going to, I mean, it's the best I can do, you know. Um, if you're just if you have no idea and you're just looking for some data to put out there to compare um, so this is going to be the state level average that's the um, weekly rate and then um, oh this is one of the quarterly so it's the weekly average and then that's the quarterly total um, so they don't have the what, um, the annual because this is the quarterly data but that's what I did I just took the weekly value for the wastewater treatment plant and divided it by 40 to get a value of um, dollars per hour that someone working there may make and then I'm also looking for like I need values for like a lab technician um, yeah, so I'm looking for labor costs for construction, a wastewater treatment plant operator, wastewater treatment administration, and laboratory labor. And so I thought there may be a better value for like someone working in a lab. So I also looked up, um, I also looked up on here, what's the NAICS code for someone working in a lab and they had a distinction between like medical labs um, but this code seems to cover like all other testing laboratories so um, that's not what I'm looking for wait what number was it again five four one three eight oh oh my gosh I'm close. Five, four, one, three, eight. Ah, five, four, one, three, eight, oh. So the weekly wage in the third quarter of 2021 was $967. Divide it by 40 to get your um, weekly value. So this is what I got. I think this was construction. Um, this was the wastewater treatment plant and this was someone who works in a lab doing lab testing on wastewater and again that's the Arkansas state average um, thankfully for all of these things I actually found data this is something you may look up if you're looking for like a public utility um, is they if you've got like a city budget uh, you can look at your city's website and see if they have like a list of their city pay schedule and so basically my city had a pay schedule that had the different grades listed and then it would give you like a breakdown of how much someone at like a grade 34 level would be making um, and I looked at their 2022 
budget and within their budget document they actually had listed all of the different types of departments broken out and they had they didn't have like a person's name and their wage listed but they were like we have this many wastewater treatment workers and uh, their pay grade range from this to this and so I just kind of took like the middle pay grade range for their wastewater treatment operators and then they had an administrator you know this is the administrator pay grade and then um, they also had a lab rate on there and so I just used the pay grade from that so technically I didn't need to get the wastewater treatment ones I really just needed the construction one because I didn't have like a local construction rate and so um, that's what I'm using for this construction labor but I know this is a really like bad random one but if you're desperate looking for some like wage or employment numbers for something um, BLS uh, QCW as far as I can tell is one of the best places to get the data and it just like I said depends on how specific you need to go just look at the NAICS codes and see if they have it broken down for your area your county or whatever um, and then if they don't you might use like the state level and I think maybe even if you have to go to the national level um, to some extent sometimes there's like disclo disclosure issues and so that's why they don't put the values because maybe there's just like one or two places in that area and they don't want to disclose that value or whatever so sometimes if you go up to the national level um, you can use that if you have to but anyway <laughs> that's how I used the BLS data to come up with a hourly construction labor rate um, for the research that I'm working on